Welcome back, folks, to our Tuesday extravaganza for our beers and drinking and merriment. Um, once again, I told you guys we are snowed in at the moment. And, uh, should, we, should we show the snow? We can. After, before, we, after, before we leave. We'll, before, before we leave, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll show you. We'll show you guys. So, you know, we're not fibbing. You know, we're just not looking for an excuse. We're really on house arrest. <laughs> That's what it we is. We don't need an excuse. We don't need an excuse. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, as promised, as advertised, I have League of Heroes IPA. This is the uh, League of Heroes pack. Um, it is an IPA variety pack. So, these are all IPAs that you can't exactly see in front of you right now but I actually have four glasses um, all put in a row in Not order right from yeah. I'll put in a row from lowest ABV to highest ABV and um, so go this way to that one yes this one I'm excited for. Yes. Box hero. Yes. Of course, we had to do a little tasting before we uh, did a video because we got to make sure it's worth it. We don't want to waste you guys' time. And plus, we just really like great beer. So <laughs> we don't really need a reason. But yes, uh, Revolution Brewing is out of uh, Chicago, Illinois. It is on uh, 34 North Kedzie Avenue in Chicago, Illinois. The zip code is 0618. Zero, six, zero, six, one, eight. Sorry, I got that wrong. But yes, this is another episode of Bears with Bears. This is Trouble Troublemaker here with all our babies. Well, not all our babies, some no. of our babies. They're still in bed. We got all the yellow babies out. Those are our, brown, our light brown fur babies. We got Captain Orange. It's hiding over in the corner here. We got Looky Lou, our youngest, our mm -hmm. baby girl. And uh, we got Francois, our... She's coming. <laughs> she always is going to stick her butt up in here. I don't know. She like... Yes, mother, dear. Yes, mother. <laughs> I said, I wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> and, you. No, yeah, yeah. She gets it from me. That's, that's the truth. I I was, no, no, no. Wag with your head at me. This is our beautiful son, Francois. He hails from France. He's our French baby. And he's so gorgeous. He's the most ravishing of our children, as you can see. <laughs> he's dual-faced. And, um, and he has wings. He flies. Yes, he does fly. Him and Mr. Coffee go on amazing adventures sometimes. Ooh. And Pistachio, they take tours to Europe and never Ooh, tell us. Go. Mr. Coffee's hiding us from somewhere. He was out here at some point in time. I don't know where he went. I'm surprised he's not, he's not afoot. I don't know. Because this is his jam right here. I don't know where he is. But um, Mama Bear is going to look for him right now. I got where he's hiding. Mm. Oh, sneaky sneak over here. Sure the he? oh, He's like, oh, you said my name? Yes. He's like, yes, yes, I did say your name. We're doing one of your favorite things. So this is one of the originators of Bear with Bears right here. And um, this is his favorite part. Yes, him and Francois and sometimes Bear Statue, they go on magical adventures together. I don't know where they go. I don't know why they don't take us with them. I guess they don't want us to know what they're doing. But um, without further ado... We're going to get into this League of Heroes package. We're going to do all four of them at once, folks. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we're going to get into it right now. Like I said, we're doing this from lowest ABV to highest ABV. Of course, I'm not. we're not going to drink all of them right now, but I'm definitely going to taste all of them right now. Um, the first one that we're doing is... Uh, you uh, said Valkyrie was first. Yes, Valkyrie Hero. Valkyrie Hero... And they actually, they actually have all the hops that are put into these beers. So we have Chinook, 
Centennial, Cascade, Amarillo, and Citra. Um, a hazy new hero soaring into battle with bold dry flavor, balanced with a huge dry hop. Chinook, Cascade, Centennial, Amarillo, and Citra taste like victory. As you can see it's a Valkyrie flying around on the can. And um, and I think these are all these pretty much basic IPAs. They're not like they don't specify whether they're the doubles. You can kind of guess what, what flavors they're going for. Um, this is a hazy. Yeah, this looks like a hazy right this here. This is a regular IPA. Yes. Uh, this is a black IPA. Yes, jukebox is actually, yes. And we'll get into jukebox. That's going to be the one at the very end. Um, so I think two of these are um, hazies, actually. There's two out, two out of four of these are hazies. And, um, yeah, so we're going to start off with Valkyrie. Mm. Don't smell too hazy. I'm anticipating that armadillo is going to be very hazy. Um, but yeah, we're going to try it out. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is a six ABV. Um, so you can have one that not hurt yourself so bad drinking all of, a lot of these. But um, we're going to give it a sip. Yeah, so it's not overly hazy. It's mm -hmm. definitely got notes of like citrus and not not. I would say like grapefruit is not no. It's it's like it's grapefruity. It's it's a little grapefruity, but it's but not, not like over. It's not like a West Coast style hazy where it's like you. It's not like a beat. You got to drink this on the beach and it's mm -hmm. gonna like no. It's no, definitely it's, it's good. It's yeah, it's good. It's smooth it's and um. Yeah, sorry, you overdosed. Yes, I, I like it. Yeah. And um, as she uh, pours out the other one, this is, um, so I was doing my research on Revolution Brewing, and of course, like, they make a whole lot of other beers outside of their heroes. They're all named Hero, like something Hero. So Anti-Hero is actually the original hero of all the Heroes edition. And um, so they all come in different like variations, but anti-hero is always the main stay for all the um, beers that you'll get in all these editions. So they do it like it's comic books that you're getting. So there's like League of Heroes edition one, League of Heroes edition two, and so on and so forth. So like I said, anti-hero is always, no matter what pack of this you get, this was the current one I feel, I believe, for this year. And it's proudly brewed only in Chicago. Chicago. Only in Chicago. This is, I, I think I may have had a few Revolution beers before these, but um, yes, they're a Chicago staple. If um, We, of course, found these at Mount Juliet Wine and Spirits, so if you're in Chicago and you've never heard of these, please give these a try. Oh, yes. Yeah. Definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. So this is the... Anti-Hero. What is does the anti-hero have anything? What is it? Anti-hero is Chinook hops, Centennial hops, Crystal hops, Citra hops. This is their flagship IPA. It's supremely aromatic, crisp, and drinkable. A American hop assault featuring citrus pine and clean bitterness. So this it is, is a six point seven ABV. So this looks more like your basic IPA. Here, yeah, there's no. No, I mean, it, it has a hazy, I guess, because of the citra hops in it, but I'm anticipating, like, your intro to the IPA world, if you're not looking for anything that's too crazy, I'm imagining that this is what it gonna, what, what you're going to taste, what it's going to taste like. Like, if you want, like, a basic IPA, this is what, not that I'm saying this is basic, but this is genuinely what IPAs are going to taste like with this one, I'm assuming. I know what I'm assuming, but... Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. those hobbies yeah so that is not uh, yep that's not hazy at that's all there's no grapefruit hazy. there's no no citrus anything that is, that is pure hops for your face right there that is typically the way i like my ipas except a little bit stronger than that like i like mine even more i like my dinker on the dinker side but this is 
if you've never had an IPA before and you want to know what they're pretty much going to taste like, this is going to be like your basic, like, okay, now I know what an IPA tastes like. Um, mm -hmm. And that one's all you. Okay. Well, I guess I'm <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be the anti-hero today. Drink it, drink it. And um, okay, moving on, we got our next one, which is Armadillo Hero. Now this is a 7.2 ABV, and uh, you'll notice that this has a uh, like a text a text in it. like it's got it's got a whip and like a cowboy hat. So I'm assuming it's a cowboy of some sort. Like armor, armadillo, like Texas type of thing going on. All I keep is hearing the song. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is um, Amarillo hops, citra hops, and cascade hops. Intense citrus and floral notes with a simple, delicate malt bill that allows grapefruit, orange, and melon aromas to shine a crisp, refreshing IPA with a clean bitterness. So, I'm assuming that this is going to be on the hazier side too, but typically don't get melon flavors in IPAs. That's going to be, I guess that's what's going to set this apart from most of your hazier oh, IPAs. Because yeah. look at look at the difference between yeah. colors. Yeah. Well, you can't really see. I mean, it's hard. But you can tell there's there's a difference. Yeah. It's just a slab. Like, all now, three of them. Yeah, because this is... If you've never had a hazy IPA, this is typically what hazy IPAs look like. You know, it's like a lighter yellow. This one, I guess, because of the way that they brewed it, it's, it's not going to be as hazy. I'm hoping, I guess, the like I said, the melon is going to be what's going to set it apart. And this is a 6.7 as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's give it a sip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. I actually like this one a lot better than the the uh, other one. Mm -hmm. it, it has more of a hazy to it. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not as hoppy. No. I mean it, it's definitely you can a moment you sip it, you can tell it's a higher, yeah, higher, um, yeah, and uh, but it, it's yeah. good, and I mean, I guess it's more balanced in a sense where it's like it has the hops, but it has a lot of citrus, and that melon definitely does gives it like a very different tone to it. Like it's definitely, definitely a uh, very interesting beer. I, I think it's very eclectic. Is the way I, I like that. One. Yeah, that, that's one is very good. Very good. Um, so last but not least, last but not least, we have Jukebox Hero, everybody. Which again, I can't. The song is a great. That's a great name for a beer. Mm. That is a great name. And great as you will see, as compared, the first one, the Valkyrie Hero, had a Valkyrie, Valkyrie Warrior, female Valkyrie. She's got an axe, and they all have hot faces. Y'all have hot faces on them. Well, because it's all IPAs. They have to have yes, hoppy yes, faces. Yes, they have hop. Y'all have hoppy faces. So, ah, put on your hoppy face. <laughs> so the Jukebox Hero is a rock and roll hot man with, uh, he's got his guitar and he's just shredding it up. And this is a black IPA. Now, I don't know if you guys seen our Dark Matter videos or we've done a few black IPAs, but this is kind of more of a, um, if you're a stout drinker and an IPA drinker, this is actually the best of both worlds put together. Yeah. Believe it or not, believe it or not, it is possible. This is going to be one of the darkest IPAs you ever see. I usually, when I would get this, this is what some triple IPAs look like, and they come in like a chalice. And I'm very excited about this one. Um, so the info behind this one, and Francois is taking a sip. Got a lot of wine for you too, buddy. Just you didn't know. And we also found a French restaurant called Once Upon a Time in France. And me and mommy might actually take you there with us and tell him that you're a French teddy bear and he deserves all the love and all the duck that daddy can eat. Ooh, and the wine and the French bread and the ooh, and the escargot. Oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> 
He's very excited. Um, so that might be, um, we haven't been doing any restaurant reviews. We've been going to so many places, but we should have done it. I mean, you guys saw us live there, but we didn't do a review on it. But we're going to start, the, once we start going to new places again, you'll definitely see more reviews well, of that. It wasn't a new place, but it wasn't like a new place for us. No, it wasn't a new place for us. But from henceforth, when we go anywhere new, we will do a review of it. And that is it. Aye, aye, captains. Um, so Jukebox <laughs> Hero. Is a 7.4 ABV. Armadillo was actually Armadillo was actually 7.2. Yes, yes. And um, so and it is jumping all over the place. She just, she just fall off the couch. She's like ah. <laughs> 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 um, so this is Citra Cashmere Galaxy and Mosaic hops. This is some of my favorite. <laughs> mosaic hops are typically what make it look darker like this. And one thing I've been learning about a lot of beers that we've been having recently, frozen hops mm. is a thing that you can freeze your hops and that gives it a whole different flavor. Thank you, Reformation. Thank you, Cryosphere, for those delicious ice tasting IPAs that you've created for us. Those are fantastic. Um, but this is experience a superstar power of black IPA. Smooth, dark body sets up a dry hop that is harmoniously, that harmoniously hits roaring citrus floor and pine notes. This is not hazy. This is no fruit, grapefruit, nothing. No, this is a pure, dark, hoppy, dank, full of awesomeness. Yeah, Mm. It's all tight lately. I don't know what's going on. And you've been watching the Nye Cut a Rug a bit, and you're just like, you might need to slow down or something. No. Well, we're buried in here. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna get his party going. I think it's because we brought so many more babies home. He don't feel like the baby anymore. He was a baby for such a long time. He'll be alright. He'll be alright, don't you? Like Okay, so Captain Orange and Mercy Ashy were older than you, and then you were the baby for so long. I haven't neglected you. I, I, I take you everywhere. I really do. As much as back says, because Captain Orange might give me the stink eye, but you you got a slick mouth, sir. You got a slick oh, you got little body. Oh, yeah, and, and don't, maybe that was, don't maybe forget that you. was the reason why. Yeah, don't forget you and I had a. Argument. Yeah, we got into a fight on Snapchat, sir. We got into a fight. Yeah. You threw things at me. And you called me dirty, dirty. After I fed you gin and juice and put shades on your face and you passed out. That was the way that you, you were drunk. You were drunk. You were drunk. That's what it was. You were drunk. You, you just couldn't couldn't hang. But it happens. I'm sorry. No, it's the world. Nothing can hang. Mommy can hang a little bit more. <laughs> and then way back up. Yes. And the park's still going. Yes. Hey. I'm still here. I'm like, oh, oh you're awake. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is uh this has been our League of Heroes by Revolution Brewing tour. Um, there's four different IPAs. Um, let's go down the list. What would you rate this one? I'm gonna have to have another ship. Okay, so what is this one? Valkyrie Hero? Mm-hmm. Four. Four. I'd say about four. That, that's that's probably one of the more um, hazy air IPAs I like. That's that's really good. Yeah. Mm. So anti hero. Anti hero. Okay. Three seven. Three point seven. You agree? It's, it, it's, it's, it's just, see, when it comes to me, when it comes to IPAs, I like mine to be more like traditional IPAs. So I say 3.7 because the, the last one I had, 
Um, I can't remember what exactly it was, but anytime an IPA is, is purely hops and is the way an IPA should be, unless it's a triple, because those oh, always, oh, oh, oh. triple IPAs always get fives out of me. I like those ones. Um, but yeah, 3.7, Armored Double. Okay. Now I would say for Three. for this for this one, if you're you're an IPA drinker, but you're not crazy about hazy IPAs, but you're trying to get into them, this is a good segue for that. Yeah. This is a good way. Yeah. Because it's not like it's, it's, not, it's more. It has that more ale taste. It, it, yeah. To it. It's balanced. It's very okay. balanced for for um, like what it's trying to be. It's very balanced. Between a traditional IPA and a more hazy IPA, it's very balanced between the two. And Duke Bacterial. I don't even have to drink it. I already know. Yeah, it's good. Yep. Without a doubt. Um, very coffee tasting, very, very dark, very bold. There is a combination of hops and dark chocolatey goodness it like it, it's very it's very good it's very good and i, I like stouts and porters yeah that was so, the only thing that i drank before yeah so one came along and we were yeah so luckily we've with these black ipas we've been finding the best of both worlds and there are ipa sours that we have reviewed and hopefully yes. we can get our hands on some more of those because those are fantastic that that um we're gonna start doing some more ciders for you guys too. We haven't forgotten about ciders. Ciders, no, we don't. We don't dislike ciders. Ciders are more summery kind of drinking. Not some winter ciders, but they're I guess probably closer to the spring. We'll get some more ciders because I I love woodchuck. Woodchuck is my jam. I do I do like woodchuck. The I only like cider, was cider usually with fireball. <laughs> well, next time woodchuck uh, pumpkin. And fireball. Oh. oh. Ooh, a cinnamon pumpkin. Oh. Ooh, yes. Cinnamon pumpkin, yes. Um, but yeah. Get on our face. So this is a four. So the four. What was four? Oh. Three point seven. We we already said it. I don't know. Yeah, we already said it. You already said it. So yeah, we're um I know that one is a definitely This is a four point five. Yes, four point five. Without a doubt. This is a four point two. No. Four. No. 3.7. 3.4, I think. Four. This one's a 3.7. Yeah. This one's a 3.2. No. Five. No. Eight. Two point eight. Yes. You heard what we said. We heard it. You heard what we said. Wait, is this... Or why? I don't know. Yeah. I mean... So yeah, I mean when we get when we get kids to this, this is how it's pretty much gonna go because it's like to dry and break everything down. But yes, this is all of them together. This is uh Revolution Ruins League of Heroes IPA. Hopefully by the time you get your hands on an edition, it might either be the same or it might be different. Who knows? Oh, but I think it might be different. It might be okay. different. I don't know how they rotate it, but and uh hopefully when we ever make it out to Chicago we can definitely yes. hit you guys up yes. because there yes. are a lot of good viewers out, out of Chicago. There really are. I and still have food. to get him to try Old Style. Yes, she does. Old Style is a really good beer. Yes, and I'm looking forward to trying it. Because it's, it's good. Mm. Mm. And of course, the closest thing we've had so far was um, Neon Leon from uh, Harp and Harry's and Kings of Leon. Mm. And I appreciate you guys for that. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here um, and try to finish these up. And um, got a whole bunch of sweet water left. And um, oh, yeah, we have a whole bag of sweet water left. And uh, we, appreci yeah. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. We're gonna um, hopefully, train wreck's one of my favorite, hopefully, um, besides G30. Like. Yes, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll do some more stuff while we're um. Then all this snow scapade that's going on right oh. now. Oh, hold on! I got, I gotta do the snow thing. Oh yeah, she's gonna show thing you. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually turn it. How do we turn it? How do we? Do we not flip this? Oh. 
No, let's just. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, it's so cold. Look at it, it's so snowing. Look at all the snow, guys. It was very hard to get out of here this afternoon, and the flurries are still coming down. So, yes. Yep. That's what we're dealing with. So, hopefully, we might get out maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after that. We'll figure it out. We have enough food and beer. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Unless we just feel like... Getting out. Getting hey, out. we may walk. And we can walk. We can walk. We can walk. I'll probably call areas early tomorrow and see if, and they're, see open. if they're open. Yep. So, um... That's uh that's all for us tonight, folks. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, finish up our beers, um, figure out the rest of our week. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys. Remember, my uh, IG is trust the troublemaker. My Snapchat is trust for trouble. God, it's so cold. <laughs> um, follow us, like, subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends, let us know. What you, what you want to see, what, what you, you, what see, you don't what you want to see, do, what you don't want to see, let us know. And we still, the rise and fall of Timbo, we have not forgotten, folks. It's not. It's, it's just not, been. It's a lot going on right now. And, and like. We're snowed. We can't really freaking go. We can't really go anywhere. <laughs> so we're doing what we got to do. And we hope you guys enjoy. We appreciate you guys. Tell your friends, please, fun. maybe 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Can we do that? Yes. That's, that's yes. Yeah, 100. can do that. 100 can do that and um this is a woman behind the camera that does so much to make a lot of this happen and i appreciate yeah, her a little so bit. much I love, her. <laughs> I love her and she inspires me to do what it is i like to do and here we are together <laughs> and mm -hmm. as always folks we appreciate you guys like subscribe hit the bell so ding, you ding, get ding. notifications when everything new pops up <laughs> This was a uh, bear with bears on a Tuesday beer, night. Beer, 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 beer with bears. Beer, Not bear with beer, bears. Beer, beer, beer with bears. It could be burr with bears. Beer, right? burr, <laughs> burr, so with bear. burr, it's burr, burr. Can I say burr with bears? Burr, burr is good. Can I say burr? Bear, bear with bears with us. Trust the Trump picker. Oh, day. We appreciate you guys. Have a good night. And trust us to trouble you. Ah!